is just simple lightning message tags field name description which are wrapped inside the lightning message show now so this is an app page where i have dra uh, drag and drop both of our components uh, publisher and subscriber Welcome back to the Lightning Web Components Communication Series. So far, we have covered parent-child communication using API, upward communication using custom events, and sibling communication using PubSub. But what if the, your components are on different pages, in different browser tabs, or even across LWC and Aura? That's where Lightning Message Service comes in, the ultimate cross-down communication tool. So let's quickly recap what we have learned so far on their limitations. First, let's talk about parent to child, which is great for passing data down the component tree, only works within the parent child relationships. And next, child to parent, perfect for notifying parents of any actions. E events only bubble up to direct parents, not across pages. And next comes sibling communication, works for siblings under the same parent, limited to the same page or component to the same tree. The problem here is none of these work across different pages, browser tabs, or between LWC and Aura. So that's where we bring in Lightning Message Service, which is a Salesforce's enterprise grade pub sub system built specially for cross dom communication. Think of it like a radio broadcast system. One component publishes a message on a specific channel. Any component subscribed to the channel receives it and no matter where they are. It's built on the lightning message channel metadata and uses lightning message service module. The first step is creating a lightning message channel. This is a metadata file that defines the communication channel. Let's create one. Now let's go back to our VS code and see how we create this here i have given the file path where we have to create the file and the file name all right so uh since i've already created my lightning message channel i'll show you the path so it's inside the default folder like message channels and then i have uh, created my channel name as lightning lms communication and inside this channel i have added two record two fields as message fields one is message and the other one is record id and nothing else and i exposed it as true it's just simple lightning message tags field name description which are wrapped inside the lightning message show now now let's create the publisher component this will send the messages when a record is selected or when we enter any message inside the input box and click on the uh, publish, the message will be sent to the uh, published and it will be listened by the subscriber. So let's see how that works. So I have two components. One is LMS publisher and one another one is LMS subscriber. So inside LMS publisher, if we see, I have two fields. One is lightning input field and I have binded it to handle change event. So whenever any input is changed, I will get the updated value in my JavaScript. And the next is I have a button and I have binded that to publish message. Let's see what this publish message does. So initially I have I have a message context where this is a, uh, I have to, we have to import this from lightning message service. I have also imported publish. So I'll be using this publish to publish the message into my channel. So this message context and inside that message context, I'm putting my message. I'm adding my message as whichever event target value, whatever the user enters that will be added into this channel and that will be published. Now I have imported the LMS channel. This is the my channel name which I've imported LMS communication. Now let's go ahead and see subscriber. So inside subscriber, I just have simple div, div element and inside that I have added a p tag where I'm rendering my received message. Received message is nothing but it's the same message service where I'm importing subscribe instead of publish since this component in this component i'm subscribing to that channel and same my ch same channel name lms communication so here i have added a null check where if subscription is null then only go ahead and hit subscribe that is because if we don't add this check over here it will keep subscribing every time which will cause delays on some issues so in order to prevent that only subscribe when i don't have any subscription which means when it is null or empty then only subscribe otherwise don't do it so inside this subscription i'm using same message context and i'm my channel name and the payload i'm receiving the payload that message so this process only works if both of these components are in the same page but as I earlier mentioned, LMS works between the different pages across tabs. In order to enable that, 
thing we have to add scope application scope so by default the scope for these channels is same lightning page only which means within the same dom but when you add the scope as application scope it will increase its uh, range for to across all pages and tabs which means cross dom or cross tab also and in order to implement application scope in this subscriber and publisher we have to follow few more steps where we have to import the application scope from the lightning message and then when we are whenever we are publishing or subscribing the channel we have to add one more thing over here let me quickly copy it subscriber and after this payload we add one more param here where we mention scope application scope this will enable our publisher and subscriber will be able to communicate across different pages now let's see how this works all right let me quickly refresh our page so this is an app page where i have dra uh, drag and drop both of our components uh, publisher and subscriber on the top here we have publisher on the bottom we have subscriber so let me type a message and let's see if uh, subscriber can able to listen to this yes there we go so we are uh, subscriber are able to listen the message that was published by such publisher now before we wrap up let's cover the do's and don'ts of lightning message service always unsubscribe in disconnected callback to prevent memory leaks so how do we do so here we can add one more disconnected callback and unsubscribe let's import the unsubscribe over here this is how we do it always unsubscribe next use descriptive channel names instead of uh, here i'm using lms communication we can use more descriptive channel names in real time always keep payloads lightweight which means you always make sure that you only send essential data maybe mostly ids or any important data document field purposes in the message channel xml handle null or undefined values in subscribers this is a very minor null check which i have added here so we have to always make sure that we always handle all the null or undefined values and when we come to don'ts don't send large objects or don't forget to deploy message channels to production so usually we might skip the message channel but we deploy publisher and subscriber and that will cause a huge issue in project uh, production so always make sure we deploy all the files related to it and don't use lms for parent and child use api or events instead and don't create multiple subscriptions without proper cleanup all right now we have completed our entire lightning web components communication series to recap lms enables cross dom and cross tab communication it relies on message channels use publish to send messages on sub use subscribe to listen works across tabs pages components and frameworks this lms makes one of the most powerful tools for building salesforce experiences